Well, we got a little bit of rain yesterday, but what we really need, Keith, is a soaking, and it looks as though that's not on the in the cards right now. No, it's it's not going to happen. In fact, yesterday was basically a trace, officially nothing in Portland, so it's mm -hmm. been uh, over 14 days in a lot of spots. But positive, it's nice, nice out. So that's uh, kind of what we ended up with today. We got rid of the humidity. We ended up with a lot of sunshine, and we had a couple of fair weather clouds, but you can see those kind of going down here, uh, fizzling down as the sun sets. So the late afternoon, early evening looking really, really nice. High temperatures officially 84 in Freiburg, 81 in Bangor, 83 in Sanford. Overperformed by a couple of degrees compared to the computer models here. Not that that's a huge deal, but uh, it is notable. Usually within 24 hours, they're really, really close. So we did a little bit better than anticipated. Tonight, temperatures drop into the 60s, couple of upper 50s around. Tomorrow's not as nice as today, in short. It's uh, more of a mixture of sun and clouds and even a pop-up shower possible in the afternoon. But I think these pop-up showers are very, very isolated. So most of us are dry through Friday. Temperatures mid to upper 70s along the coastline. We probably will get into the 80s away from the coast. And then on Saturday, we start with sun. For most of us down East Maine may have some low cloudiness to begin with. We go to partly cloudy through the middle of the day. By the afternoon, we cloud it up, and then some showers move in Saturday afternoon in through Saturday night. Could be a couple of downpours in that as well. And that front will basically stall over us on Sunday, so that'll give us a chance of showers off and on through the day on Sunday. And that kind of instability is our pattern going forward into next week. And so if we hadn't had such an amazing stretch as far as how dry and sunny it's been, this wouldn't seem so bad. But I think Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday all have a chance of showers with this upper level low sitting over us. So they pulse up on Monday afternoon, back down again on Tuesday afternoon, and again on Wednesday. But we should be able to push that out of here for Thursday, Friday, and maybe for the 4th of July, which obviously would be pretty key. Latest drought monitor came out today. Moderate drought for a good part of the state. I don't think these showers will add up to enough to get rid of that. Even over the next week or so, we're looking at under an inch across most of the state. You need more rain than that to put a dent in a moderate drought. Seas around 3 to 4 feet, water temperature 60. South winds at 5 to 10 knots. So a couple of showers around certainly through the weekend, a better chance of showers on Monday, pop up, pop up, and then we may be able to break things on Thursday and Friday. Guys, obviously into the long range, uh, but if I were a betting man, I feel like Thursday into Friday may end up better than the actual 4th of July. So if you have any wiggle room in your plans leading oh, up to boy. it, keep that in mind. And I think Friday the 3rd is the holiday this year. Uh, instead You're of a right. Monday holiday, a Friday holiday. So that could work out. So, per so I get two chances for yeah. it to be good. All right.